Negative gearing is a strategy used by people to grow the value of their investment while keeping their tax as low as possible. People use negative gearing because the interest repayments on loans are typically tax deductible against their personal income. For example, Jenny owns a successful cafe and pays tax at a rate of 45%. She wants to make long-term investments, but also wants to keep her tax as low as possible. Jenny decides to buy a $1 million investment property in Sydney, hoping that she can sell it in five years for a large profit. Jenny buys the property using an interest-only bank loan, which charges 5% interest each year. Jenny's new investment property earns yearly rent of $40,000 or 4%. So in a year, Jenny receives only 4% in rent, but pays 5% in interest on her loan. Therefore, Jenny is out of pocket 1% for her investment. She can use this negative 1% as a tax deduction against her personal income, which means she may pay less tax that year. So how does Jenny make money from her investment? In addition to the tax savings, people who use negative gearing expect the value of their investment to increase over time. So when they sell the investment, they make a profit. Is negative gearing risky? Using a loan to buy an investment-like property and shares can be risky. That's because the price of the investment can rise and fall, sometimes rapidly. What's more, the income received from the investment might not always cover the loan repayments, leaving the owner to foot the bill from their own pocket. Does negative gearing make houses more expensive? Because negative gearing is often so effective, people can buy multiple investment properties and keep their tax very low. This has led to many people and some experts to believe that negative gearing is one of the reasons Australian house prices have risen so quickly. As always, you should consult a licensed and trustworthy professional before making a decision to invest.